Ok, hoy en la clase vamos a, vamos a aprender el verbo gustar. Vamos a aprender el verbo gustar. We're going to learn the verb gustar. gustar today. Today we're going to work on the verb gustar. Now, señor Carlos, what does gustar mean? Gustar. To like. Gustar means to like. Muy bien. However, the verb gustar is not like other verbs. Okay, the verb gustar is not like other verbs. Normally with an AR verb, you chop off the AR and then you add your AR endings, right? O, as, a, amos, ais, an. Yes? You do not ever do this with gustar. Repeat it. Nunca, nunca, nunca. Nunca, nunca, nunca. Nunca, nunca, nunca. Okay, never, ever, ever do you conjugate this like the other AR verbs. Instead, you're going to follow this formula, okay? So, the very first thing that we have to have, okay, the very first thing that we absolutely have to have with gustar is a great big... Aw, muy bien. So, on your paper, you're going to draw a big aw. Okay, start with a big, huge aw, and I would take up your whole paper if I were you. Okay? And if you did this yesterday, then keep following along. This is good. Okay? A big aw. Now... This first column that we're going to use, we aren't going to use our personal pronouns to emphasize, okay? We're not going to use our personal pronouns to emphasize. We're going to use some different emphasizers. So we have, repite, a mí. A mí. A mí. With an acento sobre la e. e. A ti. A ti. A él. A él. A él. A ella. A ella. A usted. A usted. A luz. A loose. What is loose? What does loose mean? Loose. Loose is a girl name. Okay? Ah, uh, Paco. Paco. Remember? Because you could have uh, a person in here, right? Instead of saying A-L or a -ella, it could be a Paco or a loose. Or a la señora. I want you to go ahead and add a couple names in there so that you remember this is the one that can also go with one name. One name. Okay? And what does senor and senora always have to have in front of them? A definite article. Woo! A definite article, right? El or la. Okay? Then, how do you say to us? No. Not just nosotros, it's no. nosotros. No. So we have, repite, a nosotros. A nosotros. And then we're going to have a ellos, a ellas, a ustedes, a Paco and Taco, Paco y Taco, a los gatos, what are los gatos? Cats. A las tortugas, what are tortugas? Turtles. Turtles. Okay. I like turtles. My point in doing this is that it doesn't just have to be a personal pronoun, okay? It could be a ellos or it could be a Paco and Taco. Those aren't real names, you know that, right, Taco? Okay? You could say a ellas or you could say a Juanita y a Rosa. Okay? If you have two people, okay, third person plural, it's going to be right here. Todo bien? Any preguntas? Hay preguntas? Okay, these are called, what are all of these written in brown? These are our what? Emphasizers. emphasizers. There are awesome. emphasizers. Are they technically mandatory? No. Technically, are they mandatory? No. Are they mandatory for you? Yes. yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Miss Sheldon's really big on these, so we're going to definitely include these. Okay, these are your emphasizers. They help to tell and help to indicate who we're talking about, who likes something, yes? Okay. Second column, the second column here, we have our pronombres or our pronombres objetos indirectos. We have our indirect object pronouns. Okay, indirect object pronouns. If you missed any of this, then por favor, go ahead and write this down. Our indirect object pronouns. Oh, that's a really crooked line. Okay, our indirect object pronouns. Okay, now do you know what that means? Because it's in English, right? Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, no. Okay, indirect object pronouns. Indirect object pronouns answer the question, to whom or for whom? Okay, uh, the coffee 
is enjoyable to whom? To Miss Ruddick. The movies are enjoyable to whom? To the students. Okay? Total bien? All right. Uh, are the IOPs optional? No. no. Absolutely not. You have to have the IOP. Okay? All right. So we have Ami what? May. May. Yeah. Ah, tea. Tay. 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 Ah, tea. Tay. Ah, L. Ah, A. Ah, usted. Ah, la señora. Ah, Luz. Lay. Muy bien. Lay. Okay. A nosotros. Nos. A nosotros. Nos. A ellos. A ellas. A ustedes. A los gatos. A las tortugas. A los estudiantes. Lays. Bien. Todo bien. Okay. So here we go. Next column. The super cool thing about Gustar is that you have two forms of Gustar. That's it. You only have to learn two forms of Gustar. Okay? Do you guys know which two you're going to use based on your reading last night? Gusta or? Gustan. I'm not sure that I have those back. Oh, here we go. Okay? We could use either Gusta or Gustan. So switch colors. On your chart, switch colors and write down Gusta or Gustan, okay? Now, if you're going to use Gusta, okay, if you're going to use Gusta, the singular form, you have two options. You can use an infinitival with this. Infinitival. What is an infinitival? Infinitive. Caminar is an infinitive. What is an infinitivo, though? What do they always mean? To do. to do something, right? To do something. Okay? Are you going to conjugate it? No. Because can you conjugate two in a row? No. no. Okay? So let's, get, let's do some examples. A mi... <gasps> bailar? Um, I don't know if I have bailar. How about dibujar? ¿Qué significa dibujar? To draw. To draw. Okay? Dibujar is to draw. Okay? So, check this out. Here's how you're going to do this. When I say it's like a math formula, I mean you have to choose something from each column when you form this verb. Okay? We have, repite, ami. 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 Ami me. Ami me. Gusta. Gusta. Dibujar. Dibujar. To draw is enjoyable to whom? Me. To me. These gustar sentences you actually read backwards to forwards. Okay? It is kind of awesome. Right? Um. Ooh, I got a good one. ¿Qué significa tomar? Tomar un café. Or how about tomar una limonada? Okay, to take in lemonade. Osiris, look alive. We're coming up on YouTube. Repite. A ti. A ti te. Gusta. Tomar. Limonada. To take in lemonade or to drink, lemonade, is enjoyable to whom? To you. to you. Okay, Juan, ¿qué te gusta hacer? What do you like to do? ¿Qué te gusta hacer? Uh, I like to do sports. Okay, so we have jugar. Repite todos, jugar. Jugar. Jugar deportes. And actually we should say los deportes. Okay, jugar los deportes, to play sports, okay? All right, so if it's Juan we're talking about, we're going to start with a Juan, right? A Juan, which pronoun? Le, Le gusta jugar los deportes. To play sports 
is enjoyable to whom? To him. Muy bien. To him. Okay? All right, what about this one? A nosotros. Repite todos. A nosotros nos. Gusta. Trabajar. ¿Verdad? A nosotros nos gusta trabajar. No? No. Okay, so let's, let's, let's learn about where this no is going to go. Okay? Okay, trabajar. When you make something negative with this formula, the no is going to go after the emphasizer, but before the IOP. So on your uh, diagram that you're making right now, I want you to draw no, no. No, 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 all the way up here, so you remember, this is where your no is going to go, this is where your no is going to go, yes, you'll get it, Lexi, paciencia, poco a poco, what does poco a poco mean, poco a poco, little by little, little, little by little, okay, so, start on the left side. How do you say to us? How do you say to us, you guys? A uh, nosotros. No. What pronoun are you going to use? Nos. Gusta. Trabajar. Okay, otra vez. A nosotros. A nosotros. No nos. No nos. Gusta. Gusta. Trabajar. Trabajar. Jamás. Jamás. Ever. We don't like to work ever. To work is not enjoyable to whom? To us. To us. Okay, are we getting there? Yeah? A little bit, más o menos. Okay, now, Mr. Jenkins, you have two options. When you're going to use gustar, you can either use gustar, or excuse me, you're going to use replay. When you use gusta, you can either put... Uh, gusta plus an infinitive, or you can do gusta plus a definite article, a singular definite article. What is there? What are your singular definite articles? Uh, singular definite article, which is what? L or law. L or law. law. Okay, you have to use either L or law. I don't think I have those in here. L or law, plus, how do you say a noun? Sustantivo. Sustantivo. Uh, sustantivo. Singular. A singular noun. Yes? So, tell me one thing that you like. Food. La comida. Okay. Comida. Food is something that you like. Comida. Okay. How about to these girls right here, to these girls, the cafeteria food, right? Yeah, whoop whoop, cafeteria food, okay? Chips the cafeteria food is not enjoyable. It's not that bad. I don't think it is either. I think it's really good yeah. this year. I eat it all the time. I think it's really good since last year when they changed it. It's good. But, okay, so we'll say we like it. So, to the girls. How am I going to say to the girls, the group of girls? A ellas. A ellas. Which pronoun? Les. Les. Gusta. Gusta. Which one of your? La. La. Comida. Comida. Okay, let's look at it again. A ellas. A ellas. Les gusta. Les gusta. La comida. La comida. Okay, um, what's another thing that you like? Huh? Video. Los videojuegos. Video. Oh, wait. We're going to do that one when we do the plural, because that's more than one. Okay, yeah, good job. You caught me on that one. Good job. Dime. Puppy or a dog. Okay, we'll do the... A dog. El cochorro. Cacho or what do you guys do? You guys use uh, perro, right? We can do perro. Perro. Okay. Um, I want to say to you all formal. To you all formal. So, how do I say to you all formal? Emma, 
Ah, how do I say you all formal? Ustedes. So we're going to start with, repite todos. A ah, ustedes. A ah, ustedes. Les gusta? Les gusta? El perro. El perro. The dog, it is enjoyable to whom? To? You all formal. You all formal. Are we okay? Okay. You're pretty much always going to use gusta. You have a 50-50 chance when you decide whether you're going to use gusta or gustan, but most of the time you're going to be using gusta. Okay? The only time that you can ever use gustan is when you're telling me something plural that you like. Like, okay, los videojuegos. So, let's say, where's the orange marcador? So switch colors. Switch colors on your diagram. I can't find my orange marker, so we'll be... Blue brown. This brown is ugly. No, I don't have blue. I do. No, your it's hangle. Right there. Huh? Your orange marker's right there. Right there? Oh gosh, we're right taking there. time on video. Okay, who cares? We're going to use... Oh, I don't want to use the same color. Alright. Snap, same colors. Oh, there's orange. Plus... Now, Go. up here I use the singular definite article. What do you think I'm going to use down here? Plural. plural. Right? The plural, plural definite article. So what are the two plural definite articles that you have? Los and loss. Los or loss. Are these optional? No. No, and these are very often forgotten. Okay? These are very often forgotten. Okay? And um, Jamie said that we like video juegos. Video juegos. Video juegos. What are video juegos? Video games. Video games. And so this is going to be followed by a sustantivo that is what? Plural. Plural. That is plural. Okay? A sustantivo that is plural. A plural noun. Okay? Okay, let's say to Jamie. How do you say to Jamie video games are enjoyable? Two Jamie video games are enjoyable. So start on the left, and we have a, uh, a, ella, ella, le. le. A, ella, le. A, ella, le. Gusta or gustan? Gustan. Gustan. She likes los or las video juegos. Los. Los video juegos. Video juegos. Video games. They are enjoyable. To whom? To her. her. Okay. Repite. A, ella. Ah, uh, yeah. Le gustan. Le gustan. Los videojuegos. Los videojuegos. Okay, how do I say to the girls? To the girls. Ellas. Ah, ellas. How would I say, like, a las, I don't know how to say it, a las chicas, right? Is another one we could use, right? A las chicas. Which pronoun are you going to use? Les. Les. Repite, a las chicas les. Chicas les. Gustan. Gustan. Los. Los. Flores. Flores. What are flores? Flowers. Flowers. Flores are flowers. Okay, how about this one? How do I say to the students? Okay, not everybody at once here. How do I say to? Oh. How do you say the students? Los estudiantes. A los estudiantes. What pronoun? Les. Les. Gustan. Gustan. Los. Los. Deberes. Oh, yeah. Right? Yes. Si. Okay, so. Repite. A los estudiantes. A los estudiantes. No les gustan. No les gustan. Los deberes. Los deberes. Okay, there's another word for homework. What's the other word we know for homework? La tarea. La tarea. Can I put la tarea right here? No. No. Singular or plural? Singular. Singular. So, I would have to, um, uh, any, uh, I'll be done in about ten minutes. Okay. Okay. Tarea is singular, so it would have to go up here. Okay? So, do we care who it is that likes something? No. How do you decide whether to use gusta or gustan, then? It's based on, yeah, 
is it one thing they like or two things they like, okay? We do not care who likes it. We care about what it is that they like, okay? All right, now I got a trick for you. I like to dance, to sing, to snowboard, to swim, and to read. Are you going to use Gusta or Gusta? Gusta. Why? I told you five things I like to do. But they're all infinitive. Yeah! It's some, you're telling me something you like to do. Every time you tell me something that you like to do, you have to use Gusta. Even if you tell me one million things that you like to do, you have to use Gusta. Gusta. Bien? Yep. Okay. Why do you have to have these IOPs? Why are they necessary? Why do I tell you they're not? They tell you who will talk to you. Yeah, Morgan. Okay, these IOPs are the things that tell you who it is that we're talking about, who it is that likes something. Because with the other verbs, you have to change the ending when that word. Exactly. With our other verbs, you have to change the ending. When I say, uh uh, on the other verbs, when I say conversas, who am I talking about? Conversas. You. You. How Conversamos. about conversamos? Who am I talking about? We. 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 Converso. Who am I talking about? Uh, I. Myself. If I just say, gustan los deberes. Gustan los deberes. Who is it that likes homework? Mm, I don't Do you know. know? No. Uh -uh. So you have to have these. Does this make a little bit of sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Muy bien. Remember, you can watch your egghead tutorial. Okay, which is 2.1 on VHL, Carlos. Or you can also read your book. Take more notes. Bien. Okay, buena suerte. Adios.